Authorities from the state of Iowa and Fremont County are investigating the claims of a woman who says her father was a serial killer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. The evidence so far is sparse. The Fremont County Sheriff says two cadaver dogs reacted to an area the woman identified as a burial ground. It's a property in the wooded hills north of Thurman, Iowa. Woman says as a child, she helped her father dispose of bodies of young women that he'd killed. He's been dead for almost a decade. KTV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon is here with our big story at 6 Alex. Rob, Julie, we spoke to Fremont County Sheriff Kevin Astrope today about that article posted Friday on Newsweek.com. That report suggests Donald Studi may have killed as many as 70 women over the course of three decades, each time throwing their bodies into a 100-foot well. The sheriff says there's enough information now to warrant a closer look at the property on Green Hollow Road. We are actively investigating this, and who wouldn't? Fremont County Sheriff Kevin A. Strope says deputies have been in touch with Donald Studi's daughter for the past year. She alleges her dad, who's been dead since 2013, killed 50 to 70 people over three decades, according to Newsweek. Lucy Studi did not return our calls Monday. All we have is a woman came forward and told us a story about bodies and a well. The sheriff says the scene off Green Hollow Road is not a crime scene because officials haven't found bodies or bones, only hits from cadaver dogs. We did bring a couple cadaver dogs. Cadaver dogs looked in there and, uh, or, you know, looked around the area, and they did indicate in the area. I'm not going to say it was right over the well or where, but they did indicate in the area. The sheriff says Donald Studi and his family are not tied to this property off Green Hollow Road anymore. A woman inside didn't answer our questions and asked us to leave Monday. The FBI and Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation are also investigating with Fremont County. It asked us to assist with the investigation as well as the FBI, and, and we're, we're happy to do so, you know, and try to provide manpower and resources. Officials will search the identified Lost Hills area Area with other cadaver dogs and tools like metal detectors and ground penetrating radar in the coming weeks to prove or disprove allegations of mostly sex workers and transients from Omaha buried underground. It's a big mission for a small county. The sheriff says he didn't have a lot of dealings with Donald and that he doesn't have a prior criminal record. The Omaha Police Department says it doesn't have any specific missing reports or people from Omaha connected to Thurman. A spokesperson says OPD detectives are ready to help if Iowa officials find anything. And if they dig into Lost Hills, the sheriff says it could cost as much as $300,000. But again, they want to explore other avenues first. Julie, back to you.